The content of this video is not medical advice or a substitute for physical therapy. Please consult your physician or physical therapist before starting any exercise program. You know that annoying little pain behind your shoulder blade? The one that shows up after you've had a long day on your computer or maybe you've had a long drive in your car? The one that's super intense and you wish you could get it to stop? So in today's tip, I'm going to give you three simple movement patterns that you can use not only to work on this right now and hopefully resolve it for you, but also to manage it over the long haul. Even practicing these patterns two or three days a week can give you serious relief from this little guy. Now, before we jump into the exercises, I want to explain to you what's going on here because your instinct is likely to stretch it, right? You want to hug yourself and, and round your back or you want to crush it out on a foam roller. But let me assure you that this little guy is not hurting because it's too short. It's hurting because it's too long. So what's happening is that area is getting overstretched when you are working with your hands out in front of you for a long period of time. It's a postural muscle area and it basically is holding on for dear life. So yes, it's contracting and shortening until it is absolutely exhausted. And once it's exhausted and it's not getting enough blood flow and it's not able to keep up with waste removal, it just starts to ache and hurt and burn and make you miserable. So instead of stretching it, let's try these exercises. So you're gonna roll down onto your back Bend your knees and place your arms out to your sides, palms up. And in this first pattern, we're just going to gently take the knees to one side, keeping the feet on the floor, and turn your head in the opposite direction. Now, you're only going to stay here for a moment and only go as far as is comfortable. And then you're going to bring the head and the knees back up to center and take them in the other direction. So all of this rotation is helping to move your neck and your thoracic spine, as well as your shoulder blades and where they contact your rear ribs. So we're actually kind of massaging that sore little area with gentle movement here. Now, when you practice this, I want you to do it four or five times per side, but for the sake of the video, I only did it a couple of times for you. Now, in the second pattern, you're gonna stay here, but you're gonna bend your elbows so your fingertips are pointing directly up. And then we're going to add a little bit of shoulder rotation to our movements here. So we're going to take the back of one wrist toward the floor, rotating that arm upward, and we're going to take the palm of the other hand down toward the floor, rotating that arm downward. Now at the same time, we're turning the head in the direction of the arm pointing up. So you stay here only for a moment, and then you switch the direction of the arms and the head. And just like in the first pattern, we're just going to gently go back and forth, never forcing anything. You don't need to touch the floor with either hand. You're just gently rocking the shoulders now, as well as the upper back and the rear ribs. And you've got a little bit of rotation through the neck and the upper back as well. So again, just rocking those tissues and allowing some healthy blood flow to come back into that area. Now, before I show you pattern number three, I want to remind you that if you like content like this, if you like this content, then please share it with your friends and family. We're trying to get the word out and help as many people as we can, and we could really use your help with that. So please share it, but also click like and subscribe and all those other awesome little buttons. And then if you're really loving this type of content, please check out my free mini course, Everyday Movements That Are Wrecking Your Back. And there's a link to that course in the notes right below. So you can click on that and go directly to that course and sign up. All right, now for the third movement pattern, we're gonna go back down to our backs, and we're going to start with our arms in an A-frame, palms up. And all I'm going to ask you to do here, keep breathing and gently draw the tops of the arms down towards the floor. So as you do that, you should feel your collarbones widen and your rear ribs and your shoulder blades kind of come together. So your shoulder blades are flattening on your rear ribs. So you're going to hold that just for a moment and then you're going to release. So in this pattern, you're actually shortening the little muscles that we were talking about being overstretched, but you're not going to hold them very long. You're only going to hold them for just a moment. So you're just going to repeat that two or three times. And then after you've kind of 
felt that in this A position, you can widen your arms and do the same basic little exercise. So drawing the tops of the arms down toward the floor, feeling those muscles squeeze, and then release. So you can practice that one a few times and then keep marching the arms upward until you get to a pretty good T. I wouldn't really go past the T because then you can start to get into some of these upper shoulder muscles that could cause you even more grief. So anywhere from an A to a T and kind of feeling those mid shoulder blade muscles squeeze and release. Very important that they also get to release. So I hope this tip was helpful to you today. And as always, keep moving and be well.